Okay, on the Chalupa Lovers, welcome to Spire Ghost Test Rod Sound Callum Hudson Odoi. The 17 year old left winger says that he's 69 overall, nice. So, four star skill moves and three star weak foot. He is six foot one, right footed, with high medium work rates. Physically, some good pace at the start with 86 acceleration and 84 sprint speed, then 82 agility. 71 balance, 54 jumping, 57 stamina has been an issue uh, for sure. 69 strength, nice, but mentally, 60 attack position, 64 composure, 61 reactions, and 62 vision. So a bit of a different winger. Uh, he's been on the taller end, has, has fairly pacey. Agility and balance isn't too bad, but I still feel like because he's tall, that kind of like cuts that, like I guess it kind of nurses agility is what I feel like all these taller players. But uh, either way, technically, 70 ball control, 61 crossing, 63 curve, 74 dribbling, 65 finishing 63 long pass 57 long shot 69 short pass nice 60 shot power and 52 volley so definitely you know dribbling is the main part of it of him at the start but his short pass is not too bad it'll definitely be really good by the time he hits that potential as we'll see his growth at the end of that first season after you see as he speed dribbler traits on him uh so a plus four is overall in that first season agility aggression attack position composure up by points and a plus two to his reactions there and tactically ball control by six a plus nine to the crossing curve up by three dribbling up by five a plus for the finishing long shots up by 10 short pass improving by six and some growth of shot power marking tackling a few other stats so really good growth all around there tactically very nice improvements in that season now up to the 76 overall at age 19 acceleration up by three points a plus four to the agility balance up by one and sprint speed improving by five so really good growth to the pace and agility in that season plus one to the strength attack position reactions and vision tactically ball control and crossing both improving by five a plus for the dribbling and long pass finishing up by five points along with the short pass and shot power and a nice plus six to his long shots also getting some improvements to his tackling attributes it's actually is good to see because you know helping out tracking back i think it's nice to have a decent level of tackling you know that it's at least not too low but it's 80 overall age 20 plus four is overall plus two is acceleration agility balance jumping up by three sprint speed hitting the 90 mark there and tactically big growth to the dribbling up by eight to hit the 91 so really good dribbling at the moment crossing is caught up quite a bit big improvements to crossing now up to the 80 mark finishing in the mid 70s so looking a lot better here at age 21 82 overall agility up by three points a plus one acceleration balance sprint speed up by three along with the strength and a stamina up by two along with a plus three is vision so decent strength so 75 strength is, is good uh you're gonna see a highlight you know where he's holding off the uh, a defender with his strength so pretty good especially going up against fullbacks as you're not going to see too many fullbacks above 70 strength, I'd say. So uh, that's actually a good sign, having that type of strength. And I think if you utilize that, it would be key, uh, you know, going down that wing with him with that pace and all that. So acceleration up by six points in this season. Sprint speed up by four, a plus one the agility and tack position. And technically, you can see the crossing curve up by three, dribbling up by two points. They hit the 94 short pass and long shots, both at the 84 at the moment also there. So looking very good here as he's not too far, far away from his uh, potential. Just a couple of seasons left. As he's up this 86 overall at age 23. Agility at the 95 is now maxed out in the sprint speed. Attack position still, unfortunately, just 66. That is ridiculous. Like, take off some of that physical and technical growth. And please get us some more balanced players next next FIFA. I, it's, uh, it's, uh, I need to be a game changer or something, hopefully, so I can, I can mention that. But... Doesn't seem like it's going to happen, but technically dribbling, almost maxing out. So he's looking really good tactically. And again, in these tight little spaces, doing a good job with the dribbling right there. Um, cutting in, I didn't think he felt amazing sometimes because, again, I feel like that Jody's nerfed because of his height. But he had some really good passing, so playing a very nice pass there, getting involved in the buildup. Uh, should have really led to a goal by screw up the pass there. So again, uh, it gets the ball back to a bit of, bit of fortune, but doing well in the build up, playing the ball right there. Very nice ball, cutting the ball back after a good turn and should have had an assist also. But uh, if you guys saw the Foden video, I could not finish to save my life with him, especially this weak foot. Uh, and this time again, uh, just a quick little cut to grab himself an assist there also. So I think if you get him in those little spaces right there, but just the 1v1 dribbling and honestly, he didn't feel super amazing with that. Uh, the skills were a big thing of creating space for me. You can see the skill right there and the strength. Pressing that the LT or L2 right there to create some space. This time now cutting in can create a little bit more there. So I think if you hold that LT or L2, you're going to be able to create a lot more chances with, like, with him because I struggle a little bit cutting in um, because, I, again, like I feel like his agility uh, was nerfed a bit, is nerfed really uh, when you're controlling him because of his height. But either way, uh, we'll take a look at these final attributes here. 87 overall, age 24, maxed out acceleration sprint speed at 97 agility 76 balance 62 stamina and 75 strength mentally 
mid 60s in the attack position composure reaction division that's really poor hopefully that changes next fifa that really needs to because it really makes career mode in these videos very stale <laughs> technically 94 ball control 93 crossing 73 curve 97 dribbling 80 finishing 73 long pass 91 long shot 63 penalties 88 short pass 73 shot power and 63 volleys so really good all around there technically as we'll take a look at his play information here uh, also in a second so that way we can see his height as well as his uh, work rates his skill moves and weak foot again for you guys so he does have some decent skill moves you guys saw a couple highlights I did a lot of spins with him to create some space six foot one right footed with high medium work rates three star weak foot and four star skill moves and we'll see what especially he ended up with for sure the speedster and also added the dribbler and the acrobat specialties and has a speed dribbler traits on him there also so to run this video we'll take a look at the individual growth of each attributes so the crossing group by 32 a plus 20 the finishing short passing up by 19 at volleys up by nine plus 23 the dribbling curve and long pass up by 10 and a plus 24 to his ball control acceleration up by 13 sprint speed and agility up by 15 a plus for his reactions and a plus 5 to his balance shot power grew by 13 points stand up by 5 strength up by 6 and long shots up by 34 mentally again really poor growth positioning up by 7 vision up by 5 composure up by 4 Forgot to add the defensive growth. I'm sorry about that, but he'd grow up about like you know 10 plus points in each in each of those attributes. So I, I do apologize, but uh, don't think that's a really key aspect of him. But he can help track back a little bit. The, the stand tackle, slide tackle are not too bad. So stamina is though an issue, only at 62. Something to think about. He was pretty tired tired later in the games for me. So um, you might want to think about training that stamina a bit. Uh, just just something that can be a bit of nuisance later on in games or when you're, uh, you know, in a congested uh, part of the schedule and everything. But he's also 84 as a center forward, 85 as a cam, 86 as right mid, left mid. Could definitely be effective as a center attacking mid. I did play them there a little bit. Didn't uh, I think one of, one or two of the highlights when I actually played him as a cam. Not too bad there, but personally I think the wing is better. But I think you just have to learn how to use him because he's not going to be super agile. So you got to use the skills. Even though his agility is super high, I just felt like... Uh, because the balance is a little bit lower and he's taller, that kind of takes away the the quick cuts. So because of that, see, I think you got to utilize that strength more, uh, and basically, you know, just trying to basically try to combine like in some of those highlights you saw with the one twos and stuff like that to get him in behind. Uh, use the lights, those skimmers to create that space. And take advantage of that passing because he has some really good passing and crossing also. So if you if you have a good target man in there, he's really ideal for you with that crossing ends up with. He saw a couple of those highlights, able to create some space for those crosses, do those quick little cuts, kind of uh, you know, from the wing inside, looking for those inside passes. So trying to be you know just an all-out dribbler with him is probably not ideal because I really try, I tried to. I had tons of attempts trying to. I'm, I think I'm a fairly decent dribbler in game too, but I just cannot. Uh, you know, go all out dribbling with him up and down the pitch. So definitely not that type of player. But I still think if you utilize him correctly, he can be a great asset for you in any career mode. But that, my beautiful, beautiful Chalupa lovers, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll be sending out now, and I'll catch you guys later.